Hi there, this is Mar Haddad. In this first lecture, I have to show you what are the softwares that you need to download because those softwares, we need them in order to be able to emulate the Aruba OS on GNS3. So as you can see here, we have a lab of five points. Let's start directly from point number one. Check if your PC is a 64-bit architecture. So why it's important? Because we want to um, install those softwares on a 64-bit architecture. So that means the CPU is a 64-bit processor. So how to check if our PC is 64-bit? Nowadays, all or most of the PCs are 64 bits, but just to check, we can go to uh, uh, this PC. I'm using for this course Windows 10, okay? So uh, we go from uh, the PC and then I will say property. And then once the property is open, you can see over here the system type 64-bit operating system x64 based processor. So that's it. So that's what we need to know. And uh, yeah, the uh, PC is a 64-bit processor. Point number one is done. Point number two, download the, G the latest GNS3 software from GNS3.com website. So GNS3 is a emulator software where you can emulate uh, different uh, labs from different vendors. You can uh, emulate, for example, Cisco labs. Uh, you can emulate uh, Juniper labs. And also you can do for Aruba. So I'm going to use GNS3 to be the software for the emulation. Now, there are some other softwares that you may use, but I highly recommend that you use GNS3 because it is the oldest and it's the most stable one and it's widely used. So GNS3 software, you can get it for free from GNS3.com website. And all you need to do is to have an account there. So you can just register in case you don't have an account, just go to their website, register for an account, create a username and password, and then you can download GNS3. So let me show you directly how to download it. Let's go to the browser. So this is the browser. And now all I need to do is to write GNS3.com. All right, so once you write GNS3.com, you see that this is the software and uh, you have to click on a uh, free download. At this moment, I do have an account. In case you don't have an account, please create a, an account because if you don't have an account, then you are not able to download. And creating an account is for free. Just uh, put uh, your information there, your email address, and then you have an account on GNS3. So let's just click on free download. And now they tell us that you want to download it for Windows, for Mac, or for Linux in my of course, I'm going to use only Windows, so this one, and then I will say here, download. So once I click on download, you can see that the file has started to be downloaded. And uh, let's wait uh, for a moment until this is fully downloaded, and then to see what we have to do in the upcoming part. Part number two is done. Part number three, download GNS3 VM, Virtual Machine, as VMware Workstation and Fusion. So you see that GNS3 is now downloaded. It's over there. It's version 2.2.22. Now, if we are still on the, the uh, website where we have downloaded the GNS3 software, if you go a little bit down, then here they say for optimal performance, make sure to also download the GNS3 VM. So GNS3 virtual machine is nothing more than a virtual machine for GNS3 that you can run it on VirtualBox or you can run it on uh, VMware or on any other software. And uh, th this will help you to have a very good performance once you want to make labs. So uh, instead of having all the processing uh, going to your uh, computer processor, then it goes to the GNS3 uh, virtual machine, then it will make uh, the work to be much better on your computer. So let's go to it. We click on download here. And here you can see we have virtual box. We have for VMware, VMware ESXi and Microsoft Hyper-V. So uh, I'm going to use the VMware Workstation and Fusion. So the version here 2.2.22 should be the same version as the one we downloaded for GNS3 2.2.22. So be sure that they are on the same version. And then all I need to do is just to say here now download. And now we have to wait. It's almost uh, like uh, one gigabyte. Uh, so I have to wait until this is fully downloaded. Port number three is done. And uh, I have already downloaded the, the software uh, that is for the GNS3 virtual machine. And you can see it. It's over here. It is .zip file. 
Very good, so we have this software, we have this software, let's see what we have to do in the upcoming one. Now we need to download the VMware Workstation Pro from VMware website. So uh, we need to run the GNS3 uh, virtual machine. For this to work, we need to have the VMware Workstation Pro. Now how to get that? We have to go to the website of VMware and download it from there. So let's go to the browser. And from here, I can uh, go and uh, write uh, VMware Workstation Pro. So this will take me to the website of uh, VMware. So let's see this one. So I will just click on it. And now we have the uh, website VMware.com and this is the product. And if we go down here, we're going to take the one for the Windows. Actually, if you go one step back, so you can go to the download VMware. And over here, you can have the Workstation 16 Pro for Windows and you have for Linux. In my case, I'm working on Windows, so I'll just click on download now. And directly, this will start downloading. So also, we have to wait until this download is finished. Port number four is done. We have already the VMware Workstation Pro downloaded the software. So if you want, this is the one. So we have now the GNS3, GNS3 virtual machine and the VMware Workstation Pro. Now we need to download the Aruba OS, which is a CX version from Aruba website. So we have to go to asp.arubanetworks.com. Now the Aruba OS uh, CX is uh, the operating system that uh, needs to be working on the GNS3. So let's go to asp.arubanetworks.com. I will open again the browser and uh, have to go to HTTPS, this one, asp.arubanetworks.com. So also, if you don't have an account, please register for an account on Aruba website. Because if you don't have an account, you will not be able to download the Aruba OS. So I do have an account. Let me just log in. So I have already logged in. This is uh, my account now. Very good. So now what you need to do, you have to go to software and documents. And uh, from here, you have to go to uh, software and from here we can search for Aruba OS so once you look for Aruba OS scroll down over here you can see this one we need the extension to be OVA so check on the OVA and now you can see that you will have different uh, type or different version of Aruba OS CX so you have the 10.7 dot uh, four that is the latest one you have one which is before and so forth so for this lab or for this course it's not really important which one you want to use of course if you want to use the latest one that's fine but you can just get any one all right so uh, all you need to do now is to click on on uh, the software that you want for example if i say this one you just click on this one and then you will get here uh, saying that uh, your request for software download has been received. We will respond within two business days. So that's uh, the only problem that uh, you may encounter here that uh, you will have to wait for two days until you get uh, feedback from Aruba. But uh, yeah, so that is the only thing that uh, you have to, uh, to wait until uh, Aruba get back to you or you can just try them, uh, say that uh, you want to get uh, this software to be able to uh, do some uh, uh, study uh, uh, work uh, and uh, run uh, Aruba on uh, GNS3. So uh, please don't ask me to share with you this software because I'm not allowed to do that. So I cannot uh, give you the software. But I already have the software myself. So because we need it for this course. So let me also put it here. So uh, we have all the uh, all the softwares uh, next to each other. So let me get uh, this software. And uh, yeah, that is the one. So it is uh, 10.2001. 
10.0va. So this is also one structure that you require for this course. Part number five is done. And with this point, I have uh, finished the first uh, part uh, of uh, this course, uh, this chapter, just to show you what are the uh, softwares that uh, you require. Now here I mentioned download and install. So I'm not going to install them now. I'm going to do it in the upcoming uh, lab to show you how you can install them correctly on your computer. Now, one more thing that I want to mention to you for this Genesis 3 and Aruba uh, OSCX to work properly. I highly advise you if you have any um, antivirus on your computer or any firewall, please disable them. What I've done, I have just uninstalled the antivirus from my computer and I have disabled the Windows firewall. So because sometimes the Windows uh, firewall or the antivirus can see some strange traffic happening on your computer and then they can block the traffic which is going to happen inside your Genesis 3 from one router to another. That's why I highly recommend you just to disable the antivirus or maybe better to remove it completely from your computer and disable the Windows firewall. So this is what I wanted to show you in this first lecture. We have now all the softwares needed for us to be able to run the uh, Genesis 3 and Aruba OS. In the upcoming lecture, I have to show you how you can start installing those softwares one by one. So I hope that this lecture was informative for you and I'll see you on the upcoming lecture.